only kind of equality that is consistent with uh, personal liberty is equality before the law. And, but however, looking at equality of opportunity as a concept, it really just doesn't tell you very much. That is, I don't have an equal opportunity to be a great boxer. I don't have the equal opportunity to be a, a great a basketball player. And I don't have the equal opportunity to do many, many things. So I think that the only kind of equality we should be striving for is equality before the law. Je Thomas Jefferson had slaves. And mm -hmm. the free market essentially created slavery, but the free market wasn't going to take that away. It wasn't going to take discrimination away. It wasn't going to take Jim Crow laws away. So without some kind of government intervention, what, what, why wouldn't that have continued? Well, I, I don't think slavery is consistent with the free market. That is, the free market has something to do with private property rights and, and self-ownership, and slavery is a violation of the essential principles of uh, free markets. So slavery is more, uh, it's something like uh, for the forcible use of one person to serve the purposes of another. And that, that has to be offensive to anybody who believes in personal liberty. I think that uh, when the Civil Rights Act was written, I think that instead the government should have said that, that the Constitution applies to all Americans, and that was it. And, but however, see, see, I think one of the points that people uh, fail to take into consideration that as, as, uh, as uh, was uh, said earlier, that most of the problems that black Americans faced in our country then and now is a result of government. Its root lies with government. I don't, I don't, and you, I don't and you disagree, you disagree. I mean, for example, if I were the grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan right. and I wanted to sabotage black academic excellence, I couldn't find a better way to do than the government schools. Can you? Well, what's, no. what's the difference between bequeathing your children uh, a million or two million dollars in, in cash and bequeathing them a superior IQ or high height that, that translates into uh, a, a, a differential advantages in the market. That is, uh, Will Chamberlain surely had greater uh, chances in the market than I did, and it, and it was bequeathed was from his parents. Well, where's that money going to come from? Where, where is it going to come from? Well, is, it, is it a tooth fairy or Santa Claus? Well, no, well, no it's not. We don't know. That's why there's The expenses. only way, see, 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 what I find pretty offensive about many of these programs is the forcible use of one person to serve the purposes of another. I think that is immoral. And, uh, and I mean, uh, uh, unless, unless you think it's moral. And, no, uh, and to get the no, word, it's a that, concept that, of community no, that, and that, the that, that's what well, slavery was. The, the forcible use of one person to serve the purpose of another. Oh, no, well, and I know, find that offensive I, I, I think, in I think any degree. We are talking problem. about repression because if I say to the federal government, I will pay my share of the, of the constitutional, constitutionally mandated functions of the federal government, I will be happily, but I will not have my earnings go to farmers, go to bail at big banks. You'll see all the intimidation, threats, and oppression Absolutely. that I would want but, to see. I mean, I think America, but, America meets any, any normal person's basic mm -hmm. definition of we are living in a free society here. This is not Plato's Republic. This is not the Soviet Union. We're not living in a free society. Well, if you'll well, quit paying, if you I, 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 I think that's an extreme.